Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The 25th annual general meeting of Edelweiss Financial Services Limited is being conducted through video conferencing. For the smooth conduct of the meeting, the members will be in the mute mode. Audio and video will be enabled as and when they speak. I now hand over the proceedings to the chairman of the meeting. Thank you, sir. Thank you, and uh, good afternoon and a warm welcome to all our shareholders. And a good afternoon to all my fellow board members who are joining virtually. Thank you very much, all of you, for being here. I extend a warm welcome to all of you for the 25th annual general meeting. We are now 25 years old, and this is a very important AGM for us. Unfortunately, we are not able to do it in uh, physical form the way we have done all these years, but it's good to connect with all of you virtually. And first of all, I hope that all of you and your families and your near and dear ones are all keeping safe and healthy at these difficult times. Uh, all the members may note that in view of the restrictions placed because of the outbreak of COVID and considering the social distancing norm, the AGM is being conducted through video conferencing uh, in accordance with the circulars of MC and SEBI. Uh, we are in Edelweiss office. I, my colleague uh, Imanshu Kaji, who is a fellow director and the CEO of the group, and our CFO S. Raminathan and our company secretary B. Raminathan, we are all in the office, of course, maintaining appropriate social distancing. Uh, and we do miss your physical presence, but we are grateful for your virtual presence. Uh, we have the quorum being present, so we can now commence the meeting. And I would like to inform you that all the board members are present and we thank them for their attendance also. And the statutory auditors and the secretary auditors are also present and thanks to them also for taking the time out to be here with us for this AGM. As I said, the 25th AGM of Edelweiss Financial Services. Before we take up the agenda of the meeting, I would just like to give you a small overview of our performance during FY1920. In this 25 years, I think it has been what I call the uh, toughest year. And you can see as part of our slogan on the annual report this time has been that we are looking to reset, renew, and refresh. It is actually very similar to uh, a batsman who maybe after he hits 100, takes a fresh guard and gets ready for the future. So we have had a fairly uh, uncomfortable wars while we got to this 25 year, year milestone. But I do feel that this is a great time for all of us to reset, to renew and to refresh and get ready for the next 25 years. And I hope to see all of you in our AGMs in the future for the next 25 years. The last two years and especially the last year, the one that ended in March 20 have been difficult years because of Indian economy slowdown, the NBFC and the liquidity uh, uh, crisis that we have all seen. Uh, and all of that came together. And as we all know, there is a phrase called the perfect storm. And I think FI20 in that sense has been a perfect storm for all of us, obviously ending with COVID, which started off in March and leading to a fairly uh, un uh, unprecedented set of events that we have seen in the last five, six months. I think all of us in our careers are going to remember this phase as a defining phase. Uh, obviously, nobody is prepared for this. Nobody is really ready for, was ready for this. But it's good to know that after six months of this COVID-19 and the implications of that, we are all standing in a balanced way. Uh, what happened in April, May, and June, the panning that was there has gone away. And we are happy to say that the economy is slowly and steadily coming back. And Edelweiss has used this last few months to really reset, reimagine ourselves for the next 25 years. And we are starting this next 25 years with a fairly interesting last 25 years. Of course, FI20 has been our first annual loss for all of us in our company. This is the first loss we had, but a large part of the loss also was because of the impairment we have taken. And I've always felt that impairment is in a way also either marking down your books to what is a real value or 
doing it conservatively so that you have intangible assets coming to you in the future. So impairments, as and when you can afford it, and as and when you have to do it, are always good to, to do. And our board has always been very supportive in saying that let's be very conservative. Because we all feel that I think a little bit of pain now versus much more comfortable growth in the future is always a good thing. So in our approach to impairment for this year also, we took a stand that let's be as conservative as we can. Of course, when we did this, COVID-19 was still unfolding. The implications of that were still unclear. But we have tried to take a very conservative view and making sure that we, even though have got impacted on a PNL basis, we have a much stronger balance sheet. And we have, in the last 25 years, reiterated this again and again, that if you have to choose between PNL and balance sheet, I think the balance sheet is the one we have to choose because that is forever. That is the, the, the real permanent part of the company while the PNL gets refreshed every quarter. So it's been a difficult year on a PNL basis, but I feel on balance sheet basis, especially given the circumstances of the last two years, our balance sheet has become stronger. We have raised equity, we have improved our liquidity, we have taken the markdown, we have uh, also uh, you know, simplified the complexity of our structure. So a lot of strengths in the balance sheet have got enshrined in the last couple of years, but especially the last six months have been very important for that. So in our balance sheet today, we have a equity net worth of 8,541 crores. We also carrying liquidity of 8,150 crores, which is actually as a percentage of balance sheet, one of the highest that we have had in the last two years. So Though this liquidity is costing us because we don't earn much on that, we do have a fair amount of adequate liquidity. And in spite of COVID, even in this six months, we improved the liquidity that we had. Also because we are not just a, a balance sheet business, we have a lot of uh, advisory businesses in our asset management and wealth management. The other important parameter are the customer assets we have. And we currently have 2 lakh 7,700 crores of customer assets with us in our asset management business, in our ARC business, in our wealth management business. And even this is a great support to us because we all always have said that we will use our balance sheet and we will have customer assets that we advise our clients on. Uh, our book value per share is rupees 69. Uh, a lot of companies trade above book value, below book value, depending on earnings outlook and all. But our approach has been that strength of the balance sheet and the strength of the book value is the ultimate real uh, asset we have and what is the intrinsic value. And we think the franchise we have built in our businesses, our intrinsic book value, not just the accounting book value, should always be a lot higher than the, the accounting book value. And that is what we have followed. We would rather have a much higher intrinsic book value than what is there in the accounting statements. And that is the approach we have taken. Our entire businesses that we have, the gamut of businesses, because we are a, a diversified financial services company, we are now grouped in six businesses, wholesale credit, retail credit, wealth management, asset management, life insurance, and general insurance. And the last two years have shown that though out of these six businesses, the wholesale credit business did have a lot of headwinds and a lot of speed bumps and it did go through a lot of up and down in the last two years. Though I think even on that, I'm now optimistic that we have done all that was required to be done and things should start improving from a recovery and uh, cash flow point of view. Our other five businesses, the retail credit, which is our housing finance, mortgages, and the SME business, has been very robust, has been uh, has really stood up. Our management team have done very well. Our collections have been very good, even in COVID times. Uh, our connect with our customers in the retail businesses has been very strong, and the retail credit business has been very strong. So I'm very gratified with the strength even the retail credit has shown in the face of the NPFC crisis that was going uh, you must have seen in the wealth management business, we just signed a partnership deal with PAG, which is a large private equity firm, where they will uh, invest in buying 51% uh, of this company, and we will look towards making this company independent and eventually demerging it from Edelweiss, 
because we think wealth management is a very powerful standalone business that can grow on its own. Our other business, asset management, has done very well. In fact, we've almost doubled our assets in the last two years, uh, assets under management, and we are now the leaders in alternatives and also with the Bharat bond issue, uh, our, uh, our bond ETFs have been doing very well in the mutual fund space. Both our insurance business, the life insurance business and the general insurance, ATLI, which is a life insurance business, has also done very well. And in fact, in this year, has been amongst the top two growth companies in the industry, even in the COVID era. In the general insurance in the, uh, industry, we are the fastest growing company in the last few months. So our insurance businesses have shown the franchise value and the robustness. So though the last two years have been overshadowed by the uh, upheaval in the NBFC and the wholesale creative business, if you take a very balanced view, all our businesses, retail credit, asset management, wealth management, life insurance, general insurance, have actually been very robust, have been very resilient and have really shown that even in difficult times, where economy was not doing well, where Edelweiss was more focused on liquidity and just you know, strengthening the balance sheet, these businesses continue to invest in building customer value, customer franchise, stakeholder value for us. Our um, mission has always been to build great businesses. We have built it. There is a lot of value in our, in our organization now. Our ambition is that over the next few years, like what we have done with the Edelweiss Wealth Management deal in partnership with PAG, what we've done in life insurance in partnership with Tokyo Marine, we use partnerships to slowly and steadily unlock a lot of value that has already been created. As I said, intrinsic value is the value we create, and as we unlock it, that is how we reward our stakeholders and our employees in really creating those uh, uh, those structures where, uh, where the businesses can grow, the shareholders can get rewarded, and the employees also find meaningful career paths as they go forward. Uh, some of the highlights, Edelweiss Wealth Management is now the second largest non-bank wealth manager with assets under Edelweiss of 1,40,000 crore. Assets, Edelweiss Asset Management is the largest and most comprehensive player in the Indian private credit strategies with assets under management of 94,000 crores. We are almost there to reach 100,000 crores. We are amongst the fastest growing life and general insurance company, very digitally savvy insurance companies and all our businesses, non-credit businesses, we generate almost 2,000 crores of the year, which is very high quality. It's like an FMCG franchise value that comes to us every year in terms of the fee income. And uh, all, all our other parameters that we watch are how much is the capital adequacy and liquidity we have, all our businesses which are balance sheet dependent, the like ECL finance, as a capital adequacy of 21%. So friends, even after taking a big impairment in the last quarter, uh, we did still have a 21% capital adequacy. As you know, in NBFC, RBI requires you to have a 15% capital adequacy. We are at 21% and we will try and stay about 20 in this business as long as we can for capital adequacy, which shows that we have enough equity capital in the business. We should have enough liquidity, enough equity, and then we should uh, look at profitability and growth in this business. In our Edelweiss retail finance entity, where we have an equity base of 463 crores, we have a capital adequacy of 29.4%. In Edelweiss housing finance, we have a capital adequacy of 28%. In our ARC business, asset reconstruction business, we have a capital adequacy of 32.5%. Our Edelweiss Tokyo life has a solvency ratio in insurance you need a solvency ratio and above 100% is always good. We are at 232% solvency ratio in Edelweiss Tokyo Life Insurance. In Edelweiss General Life Insurance, we have a solvency ratio of 236%. So we have made sure that we are well capitalized. We have, as I said, even if we take pain in the PNL on the balance sheet, we have at least made sure that we have stronger and stronger balance sheet. So along with that, I would... Uh, just lastly, focus on the near term priorities we have. We want to unlock businesses, put them on a growth part. At Edelweiss level, also become capital surplus because I think being capital surplus is always a strength that you can use in many forms. We want to grow the businesses with the right partners and the right management team. That is what we have invested in. Uh, continue to strengthen the balance sheet. And lastly, 
invest a lot in technology because we think financial services and technology convergence is very much underway. And the best financial services business in the, in the future are also going to be very technology enabled. So whether it's in our insurance business, in our wealth management business, technology has played a big role for us. So with that, I would once again thank you for your support, for your patience. Edelweiss in the 25 years has had its own ups and downs and roller coaster ride. We started off with an equity capital of 1,000 crore. And today the group uh, and net worth is more than 8,300 crores. That has been thanks to all the support we have got from our stakeholders, our bankers, our employees, but more importantly, all our shareholders, all of you who all the time, ongoingly, year after year, have supported us, have also guided us, have questioned us also, and I do look forward to your questions today also, uh, to make sure that we all collectively build a great organization and lay the foundation today for the next 25 years. So now with that, uh, I would like to take up the agenda for the meeting. As per the AGM uh, a notice that has been circulated, there are five resolutions which have been proposed for the approval of the members. Uh, out of this five, I am deemed to be interested in item number three, which pertains to reappointment of Vidya Shah, who is retiring by rotation. And she being my wife, I am interested in that resolution and in, uh, abstain from that. I now invite the speaker members who have already uh, done the prior registration to make their observations as usual we do. Uh, always are uh, thankful for your feedback, for your questions, for your inputs to us. So we, all the members who have requested for a slot, I would uh, now invite them. And as usual, I would request the speakers to be brief, specific, try and keep it to two minutes so that everybody gets a chance and avoid the questions that have been asked because the idea is to answer the questions. So uh, with that, I will now hand over to the uh, virtual meeting moderator to invite the speakers. Thank you, sir. As mentioned by the chairman, I request the speaker members to be brief and specific, restrict the speech to two minutes, and avoid repetitive questions. Now I invite the first speaker, Ms. Ashalata Maheshwari, requesting you to please unmute yourself and speak, ma'am. जिस तरह आपने अपनी टीम के साथ इतने डिफिकल्ट व चैलेंजिंग बिजनेस सीनेरियो में जबकि इकोनॉमी वर्स्ट हो गई कंपनी की ग्रोथ सस्टेन करने में आप लगे हैं ताकि लॉस ग्लोरी रिगेन कर सके और जैसा कि चेयरमैन साहब आपके साथ मेरा लॉन्ग एसोसिएशन रहा है अभी मैंने कंपनी को मिस नहीं किया आज भी महेश्वरी जी बीमार हॉस्पिटल में है उन्होंने कहा नहीं जाओ और चेयरमैन साहब को मिल के आओ सबसे पहले मैं यही कहूंगी जिंदगी गुजर जाए पर प्यार कभी कम ना हो याद हमें रखना चाहे पास हम ना हो कयामत तक चलता रहे ये प्यार का रिश्ता खुदा करे मेरा प्यार आप सब से कभी कम ना हो फिर मार्वलस प्रेजेंटेशन के लिए मैं रघुनाथन जी उनकी टीम या जिन जिन का बिहार है सभी को धन्यवाद देती हूँ ऐसी पैसे बनाई है जैसे ऋषि वाल्मीकि जी ने पूरी रामायण लिखी है परिणाम देखे जैसा कि हम सभी जानते हैं सबसे ज्यादा फाइनेंशियल सेक्टर की बुरी हालत हुई है इसलिए हमारे परफॉर्मेंस भी इम्पेक्ट हुए और इसलिए टोटल इनकम पीवी की पैड सभी घटे पर अब जैसा कि आपने इस साल का थीम रखा है रिसेट रिन्यू रिफ्रेश बहुत ही प्रूडेंट और डिसीजन है और कंपनी के सभी सेगमेंट के चैलेंजेस को फेस करके वापस कंपनी इतिहास रचेगी मेरा मुझे आपकी डायनेमिक लीडरशिप पर पूरा विश्वास है 
चेरनसाद कहते हैं माटी में मिलकर बीज उभर आता है आग में तपकर सोना निकल आता है दुखों से घबराना नहीं कभी भी इंसान दुखों से संवर जाता है आपकी हिम्मत बढ़ाती हूँ मैं और जैसे भी हमारा वैल्यू ड्रिविन डाइवर्सिफाइड बिजनेस मॉडल है पर अब आप इन बिजनेसिस को सेग्रीगेट करके वैल्यू अनलॉक करने जा रहे हैं और अब करंट स्ट्रक्चर में एडल्ट मैनेजमेंट इंक्लूड्स ऑल्टरनेटिव असेट्स म्यूचुअल फंड एंड असेट रिकंस्ट्रक्शन करेंगे तो चेयरमैन साहब इतना सब करेंगे आपके लिए चेयरमैन साहब दो शब्द कहूंगी आपकी आंखों में महकते हुए ख्वाब है उससे भी सुंदर आपके अंदाज हैं कुछ चिराग आंधियों में जला करते हैं उतनी ही हिम्मत व हौसले आप रखा करते हैं देखा जाए तो हमारी ब्रांड वैल्यू है टैलेंटेड व डेडिकेटेड एम्प्लॉय है जो लेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी इनोवेशन और रीस में ग्रोथ एक्सलरेट करेंगे मैं चेयरमैन साहब शुरू से आपके साथ हूँ और हमेशा रहूंगी जब तक है मेरी जान चेयरमैन साहब बिजनेस है इसमें अप्स एंड डाउन तो आते हैं हम आपके साथ हैं और यही एक समय है कि आपकी हिम्मत हम लोग आपकी हिम्मत बढ़ाए आके हिम्मत से ही सब कुछ होता है मैं सभी एम्प्लॉयज एग्जीक्यूटिव को सलूट देती हूँ जो जान हथेली पर रखकर कंपनी की प्रगति में लगे हैं विश्लेषकार में सेक्रेटरी रंगनाथन की बहुत सराहना करूंगी जो बहुत इन्वेस्टर सलूट दे रही हैं मुझे तो यहाँ तक भी पूछते रहे अपनी माँ समझ कर भाई कोरोना का टाइम चल रहा है आप लोगों की तबीयत कैसी है चेयरमैन साहब जहाँ मैनेजमेंट ऐसा होता है वहाँ क्या आके हम आपको क्रिटिसाइज करें हम मैं तो प्योरली आपकी हिम्मत बढ़ाने आई हूँ चेयरमैन साहब आपकी फोटो बहुत याद आती है मुझे बैलेंस शीट के अंदर वह इसी तरह जल्दी वो दिन आए कि आप इसी तरह मुस्कुराते हुए अपनी आप फोटो दें और मैं सभी को कहूंगी इस समय कि उनका आपका दिल कोई नहीं तोड़े और सभी आपको सपोर्ट करें ताकि हमारी कंपनी फिर ग्लोरी मेंटेन करे चेयरमैन साहब और हम हमेशा आपके साथ हैं चेयरमैन साहब कभी भी कोई तकलीफ हो मुझे एक आवाज दीजिए मैं आपके हर तकलीफ में हाजिर हो जाऊंगी इतना मेरे दिल में आपके लिए रिस्पेक्ट है चेयरमैन साहब मैं आपकी मीटिंग में आती रही हूँ जब आती रहूंगी जब तक है मेरी जान और मैं आपको एक शुभकामनाएं देते हुए लास्ट में कहूंगी किसी को फूल मिले को फूलों का हार मिले किसी को फूल मिले किसी को फूलों का हार मिले मेरी खुदा से ये दुआ है कि आपको सौ साल की लंबी उम्र मिले आप बस हंसते रहिए और कंपनी के परफॉर्मेंस बढ़ाते रहिए हम आपके साथ हैं चेयरमैन साहब स्ट्रॉन्गली सपोर्ट देते हुए मैं धन्यवाद देती हूँ Thank you, Arjun Ji, and uh, I hope uh, uh, he gets all right soon. And take care. Thank you. Thank you. I now invite Mr. Aloysius P. Maskurnis. <coughs> I would request you to kindly unmute your audio, sir, and proceed. Yeah. Uh, yes, okay. I speak. Oh, uh, my Mrs. Yeah. Will. Uh, Hello. First. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello, so, can you uh, hear me? Hello, Mrs. C. Maskerinas. I for Mr. Elosha's Maskerinas. He says, "Ladies first." So I am speaking. Uh, respected Chairman and MD, CEO, yeah, other honorable directors, including three lady directors, my fellow shareholders who are attending. Greetings to one and all. Uh, my name is Mrs. C. E. Maskerinas. I have always been attending to the physical meeting, but because great to the COVID, we are uh, we are in the virtual and we are show, uh, seeing all the photos on this great event of Silver Jubilee. Maybe next year you should have this uh, actual twenty uh, fifth celebration that time. now i i appreciate very much the services of our company secretary and his team for always clearing any doubts as an investor and also a very good link uh, link which is given to us thereby i could enter the virtual meeting not like uh, 
NSDL and CDSL, where I have real hassle with the password. Thank you so much. Now the annual report is very good, very colorful, lots of pictures, exhaustive, good charts, and at the same time, self-explanatory, adhering to all the corporate norms. Now the working, total revenue down, PBT down, profits, I can say loss, EPS is negative, minus 23.01 with last year's positive 11.09 and therefore no dividend. But there are always in everybody's lives ups and downs. Take the thing of the COVID. We never thought, we never thought such a thing in our life would come. We have grown up. Of course, it is our uh, parents must have seen that those years, our grandparents. But today we are witnessing a real social distancing. My God, we cannot just remain six. We have to remain six feet away everywhere we go. So this ups and downs, but even then we should have very, be very happy with all the difficulties. We are succumb to the 25th year. Keep it up. I congratulate for that 25 years of hard work and struggles and all. So it is. So now I congratulate the company for the and the staff for the awards. I also ap appreciate very much the CSR work as listed on page 55 onwards and especially very good care of the staff. Now my question, sir, we have actually, you said five now in the speech, we have actually four verticals, wealth and asset manage, wealth, A, wealth, then uh, yeah, asset management, B, ARC, C, life and general insurance, and D is credit, corporate and retail. The first three, uh, we, we will have less effect of the COVID. So among the first two, three, I would like you to hear from you, which is the most promising for the growth uh, with COVID and post-COVID. Um, and of course, the th fourth one, I'll ask a little question on that. We have, sir, 447 offices all over India and uh, about six, seven abroad also. How many are owned and how many are leased? Uh, number three is how much of the loan book is SME and MSM SME? How many have uh, availed that Meritrom and uh, they, they have started paying or what is the position? You can just give me in percentage in short. Uh, lastly, but not the least, I support all the regulations. I want our company to grow strength to strength in the next 25 years. Of course, the first five years after this 25 years is a very tough period. But in the words of Mr. Rishish Shah, in his ending of the chairman speech, he has said, we have promises to keep and miles to go before we sleep. Miles to go before we sleep. With this, I wish the company all the best. Thank you and see you next year in physical one-to-one. -one. Thank you very much. My husband, Mr. Mascarinas, will say two lines. Respected Chairman, sir, very distinguished oh. members of the board and my fellow shareholders. Good evening to you all. My name is Aloysius Mascarinas. At the outset, I thank the management, our company secretary and his team for sending a beautiful soft copy of the balance sheet, which I read, and it was really presentable. More presentation you have given here with your wonderful speech, inspiring speech. And many more qu questions were asked already by my wife, leaving me little space to ask only two questions. One is that our insurance business is I would like to know how profitable it is because insurance business, especially in life, is not doing well. And in this present circumstances, uh, whether the COVID is also included in our uh, in our uh, insurance policy, I would like to know. And in coming to COVID, how many of our employees were affected? How many got cured? Any casualties? and the compensation which is given to their families. At this juncture, I would like to know what, 
how much our donation is to the prime minister's fund chief minister fund and other ngos sir i would like to know by having this virtual uh, uh, agm how much money have we saved compared to uh, a direct uh, agm so what is our saving so i would uh, like to know on this and uh, uh, going forward what is our future plans how now this year year is we would have celebrated grandly but couldn't i think this is the only year we have escaped the escape so when did we last skip dividend i would like to know so with this sir i end my speech wishing you personally all the board members and more importantly all the employees all the very best in the days and years to come our festive season is there coming next month so i wish each one of you a happy festive season with this sir i pray to god almighty that this covid which has ruined the whole world will one day get fast as possible from the face of the earth with this sir i end my speech thanking you personally for person for a patient hearing thank you very much sir thank you mr masrin i now invite the next shareholder mr tushar sodha would you please kindly unmute yourself and speak good evening to everyone am i clearly audible uh, yes, yes mr sodha yes. we can hear you thank you so much for the connectivity confirmation very respected chairman sir rashesh bhai eminent and stalwart board of directors and my fellow shareholders i am delighted to be attending the silver jubilee 25th agm of agm of our company today history of group edelweiss has indeed been glorious and stupendous over this 25 years i acknowledge the receipt of annual report as well as the notice for the agm through email and thank our very efficient secretarial department for timely service of the financial documents both secretarial and finance departments deserve appreciation for sublime presentation of this year's financial statements they have covered every aspect in great detail especially the phrase reset renew refresh is very catchy and generates lots of interest as mentioned in our annual report our company edelweiss is named after a rare alpine flower that can withstand harsh winters due to its deep roots i am pretty sure and confident that team edelweiss will surely succeed in converting this very temporary and short term setback into a snappy and quick comeback hearty congratulations to team edelweiss for the highest ever assets under management of rupees 50800 crores assets under management in 2015 were just about 2700 crores that's remarkable and astonishing growth of multiple of 19 times in just 5 years many compliments for the same i am glad that despite various headwinds edelweiss asset reconstruction has maintained a very healthy 32.5% capital adequacy much appreciated sir i strongly support and endorse the conservative stance adopted on impairments our company has recorded and taken total impairments of rupees 2600 crores which includes expected credit loss facilitation of sell down and covid 19 related provisions taken up front chairman sir i must mention that your call on impairments was indeed a very prudent and a well judged decision which will go a very very long way in the history of edelweiss i admire edelweiss contribution of 2 crores to prime minister cares fund and rupees 50 lakhs to the maharashtra chief minister's relief fund furthermore adel give foundation has also committed rupees 10 crores to the ngo partners i appreciate efforts taken for fund infusion and restructuring exercise which is being contemplated i take this opportunity to appreciate employees at all levels and the entire senior management team for their exemplary leadership and very valuable guidance chairman sir i am confident and convinced that adelweiss financial services will conquer near financial heights 
in the coming years and extend my whole hearted and continued support to Tidal West Group. Chairman Sir, I end my speech with a very famous quote from Ricky Balboa, life is all about how hard you can get hit and still keep moving forward. That's how winning is done, always. Thank you, Chairman Sir, for giving me this opportunity to put forth my queries and express my views. Thank you so much, Sir. Thank you. Thank you. I now invite the next speaker shareholder, Mr. Bharat Saraf. I would request you to kindly unmute yourself and uh, proceed, sir. Uh, Mr. Saraf, we are unable to hear you. Mr. Saraf, it appears that you may have a loss of connection. We will check at the back end and get back to you. We proceed to the next shareholder. I now invite Ms. Lekha Shah. The question you kindly unmute yourself and proceed. Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me, sir? Yes. Re Respected Chairman, sir, Board of Directors, and my fellow members, good afternoon to all of you. Myself, Lekha Shah from Mumbai. I am very much thankful to our company secretary, Mr. Rangra, uh, Ranganavindanji, for sending very good investor services and also sending me annual report by email when time in such a difficult situation, which is full of knowledge, facts, and pickets in place. Due to pandemic COVID-19, we all are facing crisis and have to stay home. Thank you, Chairman, sir, explaining us well about the company. Congratulations to all for excellent work, sir. Tajesh Bhai, I pray to God that he always shower his blessing upon you. Sir, this is for the first time we are joining the video conference for giving speech. Before one week, and today also, our company secretary, Mr. Ranganathanji, has telephone guidance and proper introduction for giving attending video conferencing. I am very, very grateful to, to grateful to our company secretary, Mr. Ranganathanji. Our company's protective steps taken to tackle COVID-19 is very well shown on page number five. I am proud to see that our company stands in solidarity with the nation to fight COVID-19. Our company contributed to the PM cases found and collecting collectivity raised in 1.0 million to support 35,000 per migrant families. Adelgi Foundation significantly stepped up its effort to sub support vulnerable communities through its NGO partners, offering them not only financial assistance but also working hand in hand to ensure minimum distribution to their ongoing programs. I would also like to congratulate on our company on completing 25 years. Our company sole focus over these years has been to build quality. And I am sure that our company has to load more potential to offer in the coming years. So I wish our company good luck for a bright future and I support all the resolutions. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shah. I now invite the next shareholder, Mr. Dinesh Bhatia. The question kindly unmute yourself and proceed, sir. Hello. Ah, sir, you can hear me? Hello. Yes, Mr. Bhatia. We can hear you, sir. The question kindly mute the webcast, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so we are getting some feedback from your uh, webcast. Can you kindly mute the webcast? Hello. Sir, your participant link is. You can mute it. Your second link is. Hello. 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 Can you hear me, sir? Yes, we can hear you. Hello. Rashid Bhai, Chairman Sri, and your whole team. 
कॉन्ग्रेचुलेसन करता हूँ की ऐसा कोविड पीरियड में भी हमारी कंपनी ने मुनाफा मेंटेन रखा है भले थोड़ा कम मुनाफा हुआ लेकिन हम जो ऐसा कोविड पीरियड में काफी कंपनियों ने लॉस किया है लेकिन हमारी कंपनी ने 82 करोड़ का 82.58 करोड़ का मार्च 2020 का मुनाफा किया है वो एक बहुत अच्छी गर्व की बात है हमें हमें भी बहुत गर्व होता है हमें खुशी भी होती है कि ये बहुत बढ़िया काम है और आपका जो सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट ने आपके पास को ये वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस के लिए जो ज्वाइन कराया है वो काफी हेल्प की है आपकी सेक्रेटरी टीम के सेक्रेटरी और सेक्रेटरी टीम का जो धन्यवाद करता हूँ बाकी मैं एक ही चीज मुझे जानना है सर Uh, uh, so we are still I'm getting the webcast audio from your line. Request you to kindly uh, disconnect the other link that you have connected on. आपके लैपटॉप पे दो लिंक कनेक्टेड हैं वहाँ से आपकी वेबकास्ट की आवाज आ रही है. अच्छा अभी आ रहा है सर मेरा आवाज. अभी आप सुन सकते हैं मुझे बराबर? हाँ सर अभी आपकी आवाज क्लियर आ रही है. हाँ हाँ रकेश जी चेयरमैन श्री फर्स्ट तो मैं आपको कंग्रेजुलेशन करता हूँ. और आपकी पूरी टीम को भी कांग्रेस कहता हूँ कि ऐसा कोविड पीरियड में भी जो हमारा कंपनी ने जो मुनाफा किया है मार्च का मुनाफा जो है हमारा 82.58 करोड़ है वो एक बहुत खुशी की बात है कि ऐसा कोविड पीरियड में काफी कंपनियों ने लॉस किया है लेकिन हमारा कंपनी ने मुनाफा किया है दूसरा हम देखते है कि काफी डिफोल्टर और ये और दुनिया भर का वो देख रहे है So, पढ़ रहे हैं पेपर में तो हम आप आप भी फाइनेंस कंपनी होने के बावजूद भी आपने सेफ्टी रखा है कि हमारी कंपनी का पैसा किधर भी गलत ठिकाने नहीं जाए उसका आपने अच्छा कोशिश किया है आपने आपकी टीम ने बहुत बढ़िया काम किया है उसके लिए भी मैं आपको और आपकी टीम को कॉन्ग्रेट करता हूँ धन्यवाद करता हूँ कि भाई ऐसा ऐसा ही हमारा कंपनी आगे आगे बढ़ती रहे बाकी आपका जो सेक्रेटर सेक्रेटरी और उसका डिपार्टमेंट जो हमें जो सहायता किया है इधर आपके पास हमारे को वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस के लिए उसके लिए भी मैं उनको भी थैंक्स करता हूँ मेरा खाली एक ही सवाल था कि हमारी जो कंपनी जो है द कंपनी एलोंग विथ इट्स सब्सिडियरीज वाइड रेंज ऑफ फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज हमारी बहुत टाइप की हमारी फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज है एसेट मैनेजमेंट है वेल्थ मैनेजमेंट है एडवाइजरी सर्विसेज है होलसेल फाइनेंसिंग हाउसिंग फाइनेंसिंग तो थोड़ा हमें हाउसिंग फाइनेंसिस और लाइफ इंश्योरेंस लाइफ एंड जनरल इंश्योरेंस का हमारा कितना बिजनेस है उसमें हमारा कितना परसेंटेज ऑफ मुनाफा है वो थोड़ा आप जानकारी देंगे तो बाकी तो आपका काम बहुत बढ़िया है आपका आपकी टीम का बहुत बढ़िया काम है आप मैं हर एक रिजोल्यूशन में आपको सपोर्ट करता हूँ आपने जो बोलने का मौका दिया दूसरी तरफ उसके लिए भी आपका भी आभार मानता हूँ थैंक यू Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bhatia. I now invite the next shareholder, Mr. Santosh Kumar Saraf, to address the management. So you may go ahead. Haji, Namaskar. How are you, sir? Haji. Haji. Usme usme garbar ho gayi thi sir. Laptop, bhi mobile se tha. Change karke. बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सर. माननी स्वागति जी. उपस्थित मेरे सदस्यगण और मेरे शेयर होल्डर भाइयों बहनों जो आज वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस के थ्रू प्रेजेंट है सबको मैं नमस्कार करता हूं सर भगवान से प्रार्थना करता हूं आप सब स्वस्थ होंगे जितने भी आपके फैमिली स्वस्थ होगी और जितने भी इस कनेक्टेड अपने एडवर्स से जो कनेक्टेड हैं चाहे वो म्यूचुअल फंड में हो चाहे जहाँ भी हो फाइनेंस के अंदर में सब अच्छे से होंगे उनकी फैमिली भी ठीक होगी और जो अपने क्लाइंट है जो म्यूचुअल फंड के क्लाइंट है वो भी बहुत से बड़ा प्रादा करते हो भी मस्त होंगे सर सर मैंने इन्हें लेटर पहले भेज दिया था आपको लिख के सेक्रेटरी साहब को कि कई बार कनेक्टिंग की प्रॉब्लम होती है तो सर मिल गया होगा उनको तो मैं ज्यादा कुछ नहीं बोलूंगा सिर्फ ये कहूंगा सर वुमेन एम्प्लॉय बढ़ाई आप फाइनेंस कंपनी में हैं तो आपके यहाँ ट्वेंटी परसेंट वुमेन एम्प्लॉय यानी दस हजार सात सौ छब्बीस में बाई दो हजार दो सौ चालीस है सर इनको बढ़ाइए ये काफी मतलब इम्पावरमेंट करने का है कि उमेन उमेन को अगर इम्पावरमेंट करते हैं तो अपने समाज की भी उन्नति अपनी भी उन्नति होती है सर और अभी तो उमेन बहुत अच्छा काम कर रही है सर फाइटर प्लेन चला रही कमांड ऑफिसर है, है और फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर भी हमारे उमेन ही है सर तो बहुत अच्छा इनको मौका मिला तो अच्छा रहेगा सर दूसरा सर एक मैं आपसे रिक्वेस्ट कर मैंने देखा कैजुअल इम्प्लाई जो डिसबल एम्प्लाई जो आपके यहाँ एक भी नहीं दिखाई दिया मेरे को क्या तो आपने लिखा होगा कि नॉट एप्लीकेबल 
मेरे को ध्यान नहीं है क्योंकि मैं जल्दी में आपका कनेक्ट ये गड़बड़ होने से सब भूल गया बता जो था तो क्या तो नॉट एप्लीकेबल होते क्यों नहीं अप्लीकेबल है आप क्या एप्लीकेबल होना चाहिए या नहीं है तो नील क्यों है सर कम से कम जीरो है तो उसको भी दीजिए सर क्योंकि आज जो हम मैं हिंदी में बोल रहा अच्छा नहीं लगेगा अपन जो आदमी वो काफी आगे है सर बहुत आगे बढ़ रहे हैं आपको मालूम हो मैं रिक्वेस्ट का आपको नॉलेज में भी होगा मैं फिर बताता हूँ कि आज से पच्चीस साल पहले एक लेडीज को अपने जनरल कैटेगरी से पैरामेडिकल वाले है ना गोल्ड मेडल ज्यादा लाते हैं सर और आदमी ऐसा नहीं की अपंग है तो अपंग है आपने सब जो बड़े साइंस में का देखा होगा जो चिपके रहते थे आपको चेर से क्योंकि इशारों से कंप्यूटर चलता था सर तो उनको भी मौका दीजिए मैं वहां से पढ़ा था उनको भी मौका दीजिए सर और सर मैं आपको कुछ नहीं कहूँ अपनी कंपनी बहुत अच्छी है सर तो मैं तो इसको इतना है कि मैं आई पी एस सपोर्टर हूँ सर ये है कि आज कोविड के कारण लोग ग्रस्त है लेकिन मैं लोगों से हाथ जोड़ के रिक्वेस्ट करूँगा आप उसको नेगेटिव भी छोड़ दीजिए सर छह महीने हो गए कितने दिन अपने शरीर पर नेगेटिव इससे फाइट करके बिन करना अपने को पॉजिटिव ही लाइए पॉजिटिव में देख रहा हूँ सर आज वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस मीटिंग से आपसे मैं बात कर रहा हूँ आज मेरे को जिंदगी में कभी मौका नहीं मिलता कलते से बात करने का सर ये पॉजिटिव है सर पॉजिटिव ये है कि सब अपने अपने घर से बात कर रहे हैं ये भी एक पॉजिटिव है सर आदम एक जगह सर एक जगह सबको आना पड़ता एक जगह इकट्ठा होना पड़ता बरसात होती लॉकडाउन होता या स्ट्राइक होती तो अपने मीटिंग भी कैंसिल करनी पड़ती सर अभी कुछ नहीं चाहे भूकंप भी आ जाए अपनी मीटिंग चालू रहेगी सर ये पॉजिटिव है सर पॉजिटिव ये है कि अपने को ईमेल आईडी देना पड़ रहा है अगर मीटिंग अटेंड करना तो ईमेल देना पड़ा ईमेल देना है तो मेरे को इलेक्ट्रिक किताब मिलेगी तो किताब मिले मेरे पेपर की बचत होगी जिसकी रिक्वेस्ट आपसे गवर्नमेंट ने करते आए आप करते आए सर और सर ट्रेवल रिक्स भी नहीं है तो मैं कहता हूँ सर इसको अपनाइए क्योंकि हमें पुरान मैंने कोविड ने हमको तकलीफ जरूर दी मैं भी घर में बंद हूँ छह महीने से मैंने पॉजिटिव ये दी है कि आज मैं वीडियो अपनी मीटिंग घर से कर रहा हूँ पॉजिटिव ये कि डिजिटलाइजेशन डिजिटल में आगे सब हम लोग अदरवाइज जिंदगी में कभी नहीं सोचे थे कि वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस मीटिंग भी हम कर सकते हैं घर में बैठ के और मैंने कभी नहीं सोचा था कि मैं लैपटॉप पे एक दिन में बीस बीस मीटिंग कर सकता हूँ सुबह से मेरी इक्कीसवीं मीटिंग है सर ये सिर्फ पॉसिबल है वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस के कारण सर तो मैं हाथ जोड़ता आपके फिर मैं ज्यादा नहीं लूंगा सर है मैंने कोर्स में लिखा होगा कई चीजें मैंने लिखी लेटर के अंदर में ज्यादा बोलो तो लंबा हो जाएगी ऐसे मेरे फालतू समय बहुत रहेगी आप लोग का ये तो मैं भगवान से प्रार्थना करता हूँ कि आप लोग स्वस्थ रहिए जितने भी अपने एडवर्टर से रिलेटेड है चाहे वह क्लाइंट हो चाहे क्या कर्मचारी हो चाहे मतलब अपने को पेपर सप्लाई करने वाले सबके अच्छे भगवान से स्वाद करता हूँ भगवान से प्रार्थना करता हूँ आने वाले हमारे कलेक्टर में दुर्गा पूजा आप लोग की दीपावली और भैया दूज बहनों के लिए और आने वाले मतलब जो बड़े दिन के त्योहार अच्छे से कटे सबको स्वस्थ रखे अच्छे रखे और अगले साल से वीडियो को अपने मीटिंग में मिलते हैं और एक रिक्वेस्ट है फिजिकल मीटिंग करने का कोई करी एक तो वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस मीटिंग हम लोग के लिए करिए जो हम दिल की बात आपसे कर सके हम भी आपके शेयर होल्डर हैं सर साल दो साल में हमको भी इच्छा होती है आपसे बात करने की सर है मौका मिलता है तो करने के तो नहीं मिले जय हिंद जय भारत जय श्री राम आपको सबको मेरा नमस्ते सर थैंक यू थैंक यू मिस्टर सरफ आई नाउ इन मिस्टर आलोक मित्तल टू प्लीज अनम्यूट योर एंड प्रोसीड Hello, am I audible? Yes, sir. We can hear you. Okay. A very good evening to respected chairman and all the board of directors and uh, shareholders who are attending this meeting. It gives me immense pleasure to attend this meeting because, uh, as a shareholder, it was my it is my first chance to attend such meetings, and uh, I was always getting uh, requests for attending the AGMs through emails, but in past I could never attend. this time i got this opportunity so i thought why not take a chance and attend the meeting and feel the means the feel of the company so that is the reason why i attend uh, started to attend this meeting and i am really happy to say that despite the fact because of covid lot of businesses have, have got affected including edelweiss but still company has done very well and it has uh, taken all measures to protect the interest of shareholders and uh, i would like to know uh, while going through the range of uh, services and products offered by the company i saw it is into 
corporate social responsibility related discussions also so i'll uh, request the chairman sir to elaborate some points on that see what we do actually in csr activities and uh, what we intend to do in future and similarly i will also like to know um, how do we intend to means uh, do the diversification and uh, uh, strategize for making the losses which we have incurred in the coming year just all the business has been very well considering the present situation so i wish that the efficient team of uh, uh, chartered accountants company secretaries which are managing the affairs of the company i am very sure that the money of shareholders is in safe hands and uh, it will continue to do well in future as well so i wish all the uh, very best to on the company officials thank you thank you mr mittal that was the last question sir from the shareholders uh thank you everybody i think as usual it was good to see uh, all the old friends out here and thank you for taking the time out for your remarks for your questions uh a lot of questions you have raised uh obviously are important ones that we are grappling with but as i said the first and the most important one is about employees uh how are employees doing you know we have close to 11000 employees and uh, we have been very very focused on making sure that our employees are safe and uh, whether it's the health a few of them have got infected uh, about a couple of them uh, did expire also as a result of that but uh, we have done all our utmost to make sure they get hospital beds if they need hospitalization they get all other help in their family and all because one of the early calls we took that even before the lockdown was imposed we about two or three weeks before that we started offering employees work from home in fact there was a lot of apprehension that uh, you know will the quality of work suffer and all but we have seen that all our employees have worked harder they've gone out of the way they work weekends also so the work from home has actually resulted in a lot of productivity and we have made sure that until things are safe we will ensure that employee safety and their well being is the most important one and we can still continue to work in fact the last 6 uh, months have been the most important one uh, in the middle of this covid we did uh, one of the biggest transaction partnership with pag in the edelweiss wealth management business which will get us almost 2000 odd crores of equity and this is the biggest uh, transaction we would have done on equity in our existence and that happened in the middle of covid when all of us were working from home Uh, but covid impact has been there but uh, what we have done is that we have tried to maintain business as usual as much as you know we have a uh, broking business where we cater to customers on an everyday basis the markets have been open all through covid and we have made sure that uh, we are almost 100% work from home on broking but still all customer orders get executed all transactions take place about how many offices we own we have two main offices which is edelweiss house and kohinoor which are the two owned offices otherwise all our offices are leased we have a believe that it is easier only the headquarters should be owned i think all the other should be leased office and about our insurance business it is uh, insurance business takes about 10 to 12 years to become profitable but what is important is in our life insurance business our embedded value is now close to 1400 crore and in the life insurance business because the way the business works if you invest now and then your profits coming over the next 10 20 years uh an embedded value is the most important one and we have grown our embedded value fairly well and i'm very happy with both our insurance businesses they are the newest businesses in the edelweiss family but they have both done very well whether it's customer experience technology industry growth rates they are one of the fastest growing companies in their respective industries and the quality of the business they have built is very gratifying they may not contribute to profit now but uh, we are building a lot of value out there right? as we have said first we build value then we unlock value and as we saw in the wealth management business uh, you you would have seen the wealth management business we did a transaction with pag where the business is valued at 4000 crore and they are going to buy 51% of that and they are going to invest another 400 crores in that business this is the business that edelweiss started when we were there investment banking and then we added brokerage 
And over the years, we would have spent about, uh, about 30, 40 crores in this business. And we did an acquisition for Enagram in 2011, where we paid 150 crores. So 150 crore of that plus the 40, 50 crore of investments over the years, that 200 crore business has been valued in the middle of COVID by one of the leading private equity players at 4,000 crores. And this is one of the businesses we have. So our whole idea is we build businesses, we create value, and when the time comes to unlock value, we will unlock it. So I think in our insurance business, we continue to build value, we'll continue to do that. As you have seen, uh, PM Cares, we have given two crores. Uh, CM funds, we give 50 lakhs. But more importantly, in the last six months, one of the most active groups in Edelweiss has been Edelgiv. About our corporate social responsibility, for us, Edelgiv Foundation goes a lot beyond corporate social responsibility. We started this foundation uh, about 12 years ago, even, even before a CSR was mandatory. And our, our approach has always been that oh, whatever we make, we should invest back a little bit in society. Because investing back in society is good for all of us, good for the country, and we all have benefited by the growth of this country. So Little Gift Foundation has done a lot of work in the last six months and uh, they've also contributed a lot to the NGO partners and given more than 10, 000, uh, uh, more than 10 crores. And over its life, now we have contributed more than 100 crores for, uh, through Edelgiv. In terms of the women employees, we are always looking to increase it. And uh, we have found that as some of our best leaders that have grown over the years have been women leaders. And we have 21% of our employee strength is women. Ideally, it should be 50% because why should be anything lower than 50%? But I think slowly and steadily, our efforts have been to keep on growing that. And we make a lot of effort to hire, train, grow our all our women leaders. And that that is actually been very beneficial for us because having diversity in the organization, and as we have seen, when there is a lot of ambiguity, when there is a lot of complexity, I think there are a lot of situations where women leaders actually play a very important role. And our idea is to have a very balanced workforce. And as I said, everywhere in the world, why should the gender ratio not be equal, 50-50? Uh, along with that, I think this is the first year we are not paying dividend to our shareholders because of the impairment and the loss we have taken. After listing, this is the first year, but we do hope that we get back to dividend paying status very soon. Uh, as I said, the world is going through a very unprecedented environment and it will take a few quarters more for things to come back to stabilization. But we are investing a lot. We are becoming more efficient. We are investing in technology. We are raising equity. We are keeping liquidity. And need to make sure that we are prepared for, for whatever is there. But fortunately, last two months, the environment is improving. I remain very optimistic that it will be a slow crawl back to normalcy, but I think India has actually weathered a storm. So there are a lot of things you can look back and say India should have done better, but I do believe the government has done a reasonably good job given how unprecedented the situation has been and how, uh, how much it has taken everybody by surprise. We will continue on the path of uh, growth and consolidation. Our history in 25 years has been, there have been growth years and there have been consolidation years. I do believe that FY21 will be a very, very important year. It may not show in the profit and loss account like last year, but I think from a balance sheet strengthening, organization building, business building point of view, it is one of the most important year. And we are halfway through that year. We are almost midway through the year. And I do remain very optimistic on this going forward. All the other suggestions about hiring employees who have special needs, all of that are very well. And, uh, and we do appreciate that feedback. This is very important for us because I think uh, our social responsibility, our responsibility to, to, to be a good corporate citizen is also very important because in the long term, I think unless we create value for all stakeholders, not just for shareholders, I, I don't think our mission will be accomplished. So with all your support and all your uh, encouragement, I do I, you know, look forward to going ahead with my colleagues, with my, fellow, uh, with my fellow board members on charting the agenda that we have uh, taken on the table. So thank you very much for that. And now with that, can I uh, 
And now that the Q&A session is over, there being no other business to be transacted, uh, may I declare the meeting closed? Uh, I thank you all for spending a valuable time to attend the meeting, giving us feedback, and I do hope that the next AGM we have will be in physical uh, format and we will get a chance to meet each other and see each other physically. Until then, please take care and, uh, and stay safe. Thank you, sir. Please note that the e-voting platform has been enabled for the next 15 minutes from now. Members who are yet to cast their vote can do so. Thank you.